Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today, we're going to be talking about dynamic host configuration protocol and how it relates to your home network router. We're going to be taking a look at your router settings to see if dynamic host configuration protocol is enabled. Spoiler alert, in the vast majority of cases, DHCP will be enabled on your router. That's because of the day and age that we live in. We have so many connected devices connecting to our wireless networks, leaving the network, joining back again. Obviously, some of your devices will stay on your home network for a long time, but you'll have friends and family come over with different connected devices those devices will all need to be assigned IP addresses so they can talk to the other devices on your home network and also access the internet. So how do these devices get IP addresses assigned to them? That's with Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol or DHCP. So what we're going to do today, let's take a look at your router settings and identify what you need to do to find out if DHCP is enabled on your home router. Let's check it out. All right, everybody. Let's take a look at your router settings. And the first thing that we want to do here is open up an internet browser. As you can see, that's what I'm recording here on my screen. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to your router's default access location, or you can also type in your router's IP address. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to type in my router's IP address, http.192.168.0.0.0. And if you have trouble finding the IP address of your router, take a look at the sticker on the device. That will probably list the default access location. So you just want to type that in and it will take you to this login page for your router. At this point, you want to log in with your router settings. That's your username and password. And again, if you haven't changed this to custom values, I suggest that you do that. But in order to find the default values, you can probably look at your user's manual. You can Google the make and model of your router online. That will give you the default values that you can use to log in for the first time. Once you have those values, let's log in. And it's pretty straightforward from there. Okay, you're all logged into your router at this point. This will be your router's homepage that it takes you to. In order to get to the DHCP settings for your router, chances are you have to go to this advanced tab. So let's go to the advanced tab now. Okay, here we are in the advanced tab. And what you want to do is here on the left hand side, you want to go to your network settings. Chances are your DHCP server settings will be in this network location. And again, this might look different on your router, but the general areas will be about the same. DHCP has to do with networking of your home network. So this is where we want to go. So let's click Network Next. OK. Once you open up this Network tab, you can see there are additional selections down here. There's one for DHCP server. So let's go ahead and select that now. Now we're in the DHCP server settings. As you can see, there are a few things to look at here. And the thing of most importance is right here where it says DHCP server, enable DHCP server. That tells us right here that DHCP is enabled on our router. What you can also see is here is the IP address pool that is used by DHCP. This means that any device that connects to your network or joins your network will have an IP address within these ranges. Also, the lease time is included. That means every 120 minutes, a device needs to renew its lease on a given IP address. 
That means if you have a device, join your network and then leave it with 10 minutes later, after 120 minutes, that IP address will realize that it's no longer assigned to a device that's connected to the network and it will get reassigned to a different device. The next important thing that we want to look at here is if we scroll down a bit, you'll see the DHCP client list. That will tell you all of the devices that are currently connected to your network and have been assigned an IP address. So let's take a look at that. Okay, here we are. You can see the DHCP client list here. This is all the devices that currently have an IP address assigned to it. You can also see the lease time to see how long these devices have been connected to your network. This is useful information, but overall, just seeing that DHCP enabled, that's what we wanted to get at today. So that pretty much concludes what we wanna look at. So that pretty much covers everything you need to know in terms of determining if DHCP is enabled on your router. It's important to note here that although just about, well, I'll go ahead and say it, every home network router will have DHCP capability, but there are instances where you might wanna turn it off. Namely, if you have multiple routers in your home network, and one of the routers is used simply as another Wi-Fi access point in your home, you're not going to want DHCP enabled on that router because your other router will be responsible and serve as the DHCP server for your home network. If you have any questions about what we went over today, or if you'd like some more detailed information, please first check out a blog post that I'll add below. And also, if you have any questions after that, please drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. As always, thank you for tuning in to Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next episode.